Good day and welcome back to another Dungeoneering video. Today we're going to talk about what book you should buy starting out with Dungeons and Dragons. So, this is going to be in two parts because obviously the Dungeon Master and the player is going to need different books. Eventually the Dungeon Master is probably going to want all of them, but to start out he's going to get something a little different. So for players, the first book you're going to need, pretty obvious, the Player's Handbook. This has everything you need to start out, not excluding all of the extra books like Tasha's and Xanathar's. These, I mean, once you're a little more comfortable with the game, I would buy these, but I would not start out with them. So we're going to focus on the books to start with today. So as a player, when you first start out, you're going to want to pick up the player's handbook. And what I would do is I would read the first little bit. I'd read the classes, the races, the backgrounds, and how to build the character in the front. Everything you need to start out. Most of everything else you're just going to learn over time. Nobody expects you to read the player's handbook from cover to cover before you even play. Uh, I know when I started out, I didn't know a lot about the game. Other people taught me. Other people showed me the way. Eventually, you catch on to it. Now, if you are thinking about dipping your toes into Dungeons & Dragons, but you're not 100% sold, pick this up. 100% pick this up. It's the Essentials Kit. You can run a game with your friends. You can go on, and you can at least see if you like it. This has a little mini rule book in it. It has the Dungeon Master screen. It has everything you need. They even have pre-generated characters, so that you can just jump right into the game. The best part about it is, if you decide that you want to keep going with Dungeons & Dragons, this contains a code for D&D Beyond to get half off the player's handbook. So, we're going to do some quick math. If you get this at the right place, I think Amazon sells this for 12 bucks. You get this for 12 bucks, and you go on D&D Beyond and take half off of that. So, it's $30 on D&D Beyond for the player's handbook. Right here. If it's 30 bucks for this thing regular on Amazon and you get half off, that means that you can get this and this for the same price. Now, this will obviously be a digital copy. So if you want a hard copy, you'll still have to pick it up. They don't sell it. They don't give you a discount on this for this. But if you get it on d, &D Beyond, it's half off. I mean, it's a win-win. You lose literally nothing as long as you're perfectly okay with it being on digital format. Now, for the Dungeon Master. The Dungeon Master starting out focuses on two books. They're both right here. Now, as the Dungeon Master, if you do your research online, you basically don't need this book. I mean, I literally only use this book to look up items. If it's not items, I pretty much don't use it. There's a lot of useful information in here. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this book is useless. But the more you remember about Dungeons & Dragons, the less you need this book. I Most of the time, if, I play Dun if I'm playing and I'm DMing, I don't even take this downstairs. There's a blue moon whenever I need it. This book, on the other hand, I need all the time. You, no matter what your memory is like, no matter what you write down, unless you literally write down the monsters, you are going to need this book. This is the most important. If you run an adventure, other than something like this, where everything is self-contained, everything is in it, you'll need the Monster Man. There's Volo's Guide to Monsters, and you can also benefit from Xanathar's Guide to Everything and Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, but none of them are necessary to start out. When you're starting out, you'll also need a few items. One, gold dice. You need one set of dice. So what that set of dice consists of is a d20, a d6, a d4, percentile, a d12, a d10, and a d8. A full set is going to look something like this. So you need one of each of them. If you're using digital format, you don't even need any of this stuff. This is all for physical. So you'll need a character sheet, which I have somewhere in that big mess. Uh, you're also going to need a 
pencil. That's that's about it. Everything else is just going to be in your head. Now it's integrated straight into the system I use. All my stuff on Roll20, I can share with my players as need be. It's all self-contained, and I actually use it to run the game when I'm playing online. Your other option is getting in person. Everybody wants to support the local game store. I get that. But I'm just going to let you in on a secret. Amazon sells the books way cheaper than your local game store will. And I don't want to get any hate by saying this, but it's silly to buy it at your game store. Honestly, buy the book on Amazon and then go to your local game store and buy something else. Support them in a way that they actually make money because they don't make any money off those books anyway. It's The margin is so small that they actually make more if you go buy minis or if you go buy anything else. Support your local game store, but do it in a smart way. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.